Being the child of a talented parent can be a bit of a mixed blessing. It can be a fantastic foundation and it can also mean that you have to satisfy high expectations. We thought it would be interesting to chat to a talented daughter with a real world experience of this situation. So I went off to meet Methali Shom. Maithili is the daughter of Munali Shom, a respected singer, composer and vocal trainer who hails originally from Dhaleshwar in India. While Maithili was also born in India, her family moved to South Africa when she was five. And since then, her musical career has spanned both continents. You can literally put me into a trance. When did you first become aware of music that you wanted to sing? My musical journey started at the age of two and a half years old and my musical abilities are all inherited as you can see from my mother. She is and was at that time as well an Indian classical vocal teacher. I used to sit and observe and listen to everything that sort of came out and it sort of just got absorbed into me. The one day we had a community sort of program and they had asked the little kids to perform in the community and I was one of them. Having made her debut in Pune, Maithili continued her vocal training when she accompanied her parents to South Africa. Her mother guided her through the process of developing her talent and as a teenager she returned to India to take part in the Sarigamapa reality show where she represented Africa in the finals. What does music mean to you? Music to me is literally everything. I just feel music is a medium through which we express our feelings and that is exactly it. When I'm happy, I sing. And when I'm sad, I sing. When did you realize that your daughter was so talented? When she was a little baby, I used to make her sleep with lullabies, but I used to keep a beat, always keep a beat. And when she grew up a little bit and I saw she had such wonderful beat, you're an established singer in your own right. Where did your passion come from? We are Bengalis from India and in our community, music is like very natural. When the child is born, you have to sing. Whether you can sing or not, you have to go to a music class. So that's how it started with me. I'm absolutely loving hearing your story. I would love to find out more. And I'd love to take you to the other side and show you exactly, you know, the other genres and things that I've been working with. Maithili has gone on to become an established local performer and has appeared at live concerts alongside international names such as Amit Paul of Indian Idol fame. Throughout this time, her parents have played a key role in her development as an artist. Your parents are so supportive. How have they been instrumental in your career? Um, you know, my parents have sort of, after recognising that the fact that I have a talent, they've been nurturing it ever since and they were the people who actually showed me the path and the direction and they've guided me ever since. You moved from India to South Africa with your family when you were very young. Did you find this a big change? I moved here when I was five years old. Everything inside of me is basically African, you know. I don't consider myself completely Indian. How has Africa influenced your sound? I find so many similarities because of, you know, the Gospels of Africa resonate with the music in India as well. And I feel as though a musician's life is incomplete if you haven't visited Africa and experienced the music here. I don't want to talk anymore. I just want to hear you sing. Great. I'm going to be taking you now to my world of music. One of the most striking aspects of Maithili's musicality is that she can switch styles and languages quite effortlessly and her world of music knows no borders. In addition to performing in 10 Indian languages, she's also comfortable in English, Italian, German, Isi Zulu, Isi Troza, and Setswana. singer you play the piano what other instruments do you play along with the piano and my voice I play in my marimba band at school and I also am a part of the acapella and the choir additionally for my Indian classical music I play the harmonium as well as the tanpura which do complement my singing you're a part of a band how did this come about yes I do have a band the band's name is Afrin the music we play is world music and we fuse music from Africa as well as India hence Afrin Afrin has already made its first international tour to India, where the band performed at the opening of a festival of music, yoga and meditation at Bikaner House in New Delhi. Thank you so 
much for such an inspiring afternoon. But now you have got to sing us out.